today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make flashcards on Canva. So first you want to start off by searching for the word flashcard. And then from there you will see over 1,000 templates that you can use. Um, you have free um, templates as well as paid. So you see this little crown, it means Canva Pro and you can only access that if you have the paid version. Um, and I can link more about that in the description below. But for right now, I'm going to find a template that I want to use for this tutorial. Something else to add, they do have different styles as well as themes already um, categorized. So you can choose from one of these as well. But for now, I'm going to use this one. And I am going to start off by deleting every image they have used for the shape. But before that, y'all, let me just show you how to change the colors of what's already on the flashcard. Say if you want like all black flashcards, you can just go up, click on the um, image and go right here to the colors. You can pick the colors that's already in your document or you can go down to default colors right here. If you want a custom color, you can click right here um, and just drag until you find the shade you're looking for. But for right now, I'm just gonna click on black like that. And so when I click off it, ooh, you will see that the outline is still orange. So make sure that you change both to whatever color you want to use if that's the template that you choose. So from there, I'm gonna continue deleting all of the shapes they use on theirs. So now I'm going to go to the elements tab and search for different um, shapes that I want to use. So I usually just type in something like cartoon, square, shape, whatever. Um, you can use any, whatever style that you're looking for, just type in that word plus whatever you're looking for. And then you should get a lot of things that pops up. So they also have like photos as well as graphics. Um, you usually want to go with graphics for flashcards. Um, and so I'm going to use this. And the good thing about Canva is like once you click on the image, they recommend like similar images um, sometimes. And then other times they just have extra stuff on here. So now I'm going to insert the shape resize it so that it fits and then I'm going to change the outline of the flashcard to the pink and then we're going to go back to elements and just insert other shapes that match it so we're going to use a cube usually I wouldn't do this but for the sake of it being the same style I am just going with the flow um Oh no, I want to use the pink. Um, I don't think they have a star on here, so I am going to do a diamond. As well as the cylinder, because they don't have an oval for this particular design. I'm going to use the circle. And if you want your images to be the same size, just pay attention to the dimensions and just try to edit it the same each time. Um, let's have a triangle. And they also have a rectangle. So once I'm done with these, I am going to Insert, um, oh, that's a trapezoid. So here we are. Now that we have all of these, I'm going to change the change the names to the correct shape.
And then I'm going to change the outline to all of these. From there, I'm going to change the font to the color, I mean the font that I want. And to do that, you go to the drop down box. You can type in a certain font or just use what's recommended. I'm going to use one that I usually use. And if you want to change all of them at one time, you just go down here and click change all. That way it's easy and technically I'm done. If you wanted to change the color of the name, um, you would click on it and then go to this right here and then just use the colors whatever color you want so if I wanted to do red I would just you know click on it so um, that's how you change that and then when it's time to print you just go to share download do the PDF download either of these and then you print it so that's all that's to it um, of course, when you make them from scratch, it's a little more difficult, but if you want to see that, just let me know.